Okay, now we're going to draw the hair. Um, and this is just gonna be, again, a very basic type of hair. If you want a certain style, like curly or short or wavy or braids or ponytail or buns or whatever, I encourage you to look up on YouTube. So search, I'll just write it here. Search on YouTube for additional hairstyles. Hair styles. So you literally just type in how to draw curly hair, how to draw anime hair, how to draw braids and whatnot, okay? And that'll give you some insight. But the first thing I wanna tell you is that your hair needs to start here at kind of this line and then end around where the ears are. We need to make sure we have an accurate hair line. So that's where your hair starts on your scalp, okay? So I like to start it right above this line, okay? It should not go below that line, okay? Unless you're doing bangs, obviously. So I'm just drawing in a general line here and then it needs to curve to where the ears meet the head. Okay, so this is just a general hairline. If you have a part down, your, down the middle of your hair, uh, you may want the hairline to curve upward a little, right in the middle. Or if your part is off to one side or the other, you can just adjust it, scooch it over a little. So scooch the part over like to here, and then you can curve that back out and have that meet up there as well. Just easy, something easy like that, okay? Uh, so I'm going to push it back to the middle just for sake of simplicity here. Okay, now this is just the basic hairline. This is where all of the hair styles start anyway. So this is what all of you should do is just start with a hairline, okay? And if you are gonna do bangs, maybe that will be different. You'll want to bring down, if you wanna do like straight across bangs, bring the hair down to where you want it so the hairline will come down, okay? Now, so say I wanted to do just maybe hair coming down, maybe just short hair. So I'm going to start, you wanna start the hair above the head. Uh, it depends on how, you could have it be like really high above the head or really close to the head or whatnot. Okay, if you have a part down the middle, it'll kind of come from a little bit of a heart shape right at the top, or a butt crack shape, whatever you want to call it. And then it comes down the side of the head. Okay. Just very simple. Okay. Now, if you want it to be short hair, my dog is playing with her squeaky toy. I am tempted to go take it away, but hopefully you guys can handle that little bit of distraction. If you want short hair and you don't want it to go like down too far you can have it kind of stop right behind the ears like that okay and you don't have to have it um have a part in the middle you could give it like more of a short hair texture like so give it some hair type of texture up at the top here and then maybe have it change direction a little bit right up there, kind of where there'd be a cowlick or something right in the middle. Okay. And then you would erase all that's in here because that's just guidelines for the hair. Okay. So if you want your hair to be short like that, that's one way to do it. Okay. And then you'd want to maybe add in just kind of along the uh, hairline, you could add in maybe some hair coming down a little bit like onto the face. Something kind of like so. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just something extra. And you'd erase the line right there. Just to look like it's got some character, right? Okay. But if you want to have longer hair, I'm going to erase that. And erase the bangs right in here. Lots of erasing people <laughs> for demonstrating. <laughs> You want to have just kind of regular hair with a part in the middle. I'm just gonna add that in there. 
Can you erase that? You just bring it down. You always want to start, whenever you're starting here, you always want to start with the outline of what you want, kind of on the outside. And then you can do texture uh, inside and hairlines once you're done. So I'm just gonna start like this. And Tim Burton style hairs tend to be a little bit crazy or kind of fun. So I'm gonna curve it out just like so. And add a little curl at the end, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring it out like so, just to make it fun. You don't have to do this. You could just leave it like a square cut hair. It doesn't matter. I'm just bringing it up, making it swirl. Okay, something kind of fun like that and crazy. Uh, and then you wanna start adding hair lines. So I like to start from the scalp, okay? The scalp is where all the hair comes from, right? So we just start by adding lines, kind of coming down and I'm having it follow the line of the hair, just like so. And you can have your hair lines be much more uh, close together and tight, or actually give it more of an actual hair texture. I'm just keeping it more of like a graphic art look, meaning uh, I keep it more Tim Burton style, kind of straight edge lines. Uh, and then I'm gonna want to kind of make sure I keep with the curvature of the face here. I wanna make sure um, the lines kind of follow. Looks like it's maybe going behind the ears, right? Uh, I could also add some hair coming down into the face because that's a very Tim Burton thing to do, having kind of messy or disheveled looking hair. So I'm just having a few strands come down and then I erase the line between that. So it looks like it's attached. There we go. And then I'm gonna give it some variety here, curving at the bottom. I'm gonna have some hairlines closer together, some farther apart, just so it looks more natural. Okay, there we go. And then the same thing would happen on the other side. Make sure you're curving it with the head. Okay, that's very important to show roundness. Kind of curving it back up. And I'm still using sketch lines, people. Make sure you're using sketch lines and you're kind of flicking your pencil and you're not just holding it down. Okay, that's very important. So I'm curving it up into the hair. I'm gonna have one be a little closer there. That one there. And I can like add in also maybe like a couple more hair lines into there depending on how I want the hair to look. It just depends. And I can have it stop a little like that. If I don't, if I don't want it to go all the way down. I'm kind of looking at it and I kind of do want it to go down with the hair just to give it some movement. And this one's just gonna kind of tangle right back in and go right behind the ears. And remember, you can pause and rewind and whatever if I'm going too quickly. It's a nice thing about having YouTube videos, right? Okay, there you go, there's the hair, okay? And again, you can do literally any kind of hair. Just you look it up on YouTube, okay? Like how to draw, you know, braids and nime hair um short hair styles etc. Okay? You just need to type in like how to draw first so you get a tutorial video. All right? So that's uh, a hair demo. Okay? I will, you know, be able to show you guys a lot more later and I'll post some of the other videos. Remember, these are some of the ones we did in class. Okay? So you can pause these, right, and look at them. I'm just going to quick show all the different ones. Okay? So is that wavy hairstyle. Here's the short hairstyle, one of them that we did. And the braids, okay. Then we had the faux hawk, like a short hairstyle with shaved sides. And we had uh, an updo, kind of a bun on the top with long hair on the sides. Then we had a, the double bun, okay. And the wavy hair, just regular wavy hair. Remember, if you want to look at these and be able to draw them, whatever, pause, and then uh, you can look at them for longer. Here's another one that's kind of similar. This is one that looks like my hair, okay? 
Uh, then we have our Einstein crazy dude. And is that all of them? I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Yep. It seems like it might be all of them. Okay. So that is that for now. Oh, and here's one more. I forgot. There we go. Just another short hairstyle. Pretty simple. Okay. And remember, you can do little stylized designs, kind of draw some little balloon shapes and whatnot to come up with different hairstyles, right? I just practiced a whole bunch of different ones. So hopefully that helps you, okay? All right, email me with any questions.